Hey what's going on guys, welcome to your 6th Vue.js tutorial and in this video I want to talk about event modifiers. Okay then, so in the last tutorial we had a look at these different events and how we listen to them using vOn, so click events, double click and mouse move events. Now there's these little things called event modifiers in Vue.js that allow us to tack on additional functionality to these event listeners, right? So there's a whole list of these different modifiers and I'm going to show you where to find those later on. I'm just going to go through a couple of examples in this tutorial. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's just imagine that this button right here where we add a year, we only want to listen for that click event once, the first time. So when a user clicks on it the first time, this function fires, but thereafter it doesn't, right? So we only want to listen for this event once. We can use a modifier called once to allow that functionality. And the way we attach a modifier to an event is just by doing a little dot, full stop, then saying what modifier we want to use. In this case, it's once. So now, Vue.js is only going to listen for this event once and fire this function once. So if we save it now, check this out in a browser. If we add a year, it works. If we try to add another year, it does not, because it's just listening for that event once. The rest will work, but this one only works once, right? So that's the once modifier, and that's probably the most simplistic version or example I can show you. So let's do one more. Say, for example, now we had a link. I'm going to create a link down here, and this is going to have href attribute equal to http www.thenetninja.co.uk, right? And we'll just do the net ninja. Like that. Now, obviously, when we click on this, it's going to take us to this website, right? But say, for example, for some reason, we don't want that to happen. Then what we can do is we can come down here and say v on and click is equal to a function, right? And instead of going to this URL, we want this function to fire. So let's just call this function click. It doesn't really matter what this is called at the minute, but let's add this function right here. So click is going to be equal to a function. And then instead, what we want this to do is alert a message. So we'll just say alert, you clicked me, right? So what's going to happen at the minute if we click on this link? Well, let's take a look. If we view this in a browser and go down here and click on this link, then OK, we get that alert, but then it's going to go to the NetNinja website, right? We don't want this to happen. So the way we can do that is by preventing the default behavior of the link. So we can tack on an event modifier right here called prevent, right? And that is therefore going to prevent this default behavior. So now if we click on this, we still get the alert, click OK. Now we're not going to the external website. Pretty awesome, right? So like I said, I'm going to show you this list of different uh, modifiers we can use so you can find that this URL I'm gonna leave this link down below so you can come and check them out yourself and there's uh, these different ones here and it's good documentation this so feel free to read about these right here they're all pretty simple so there we go that is event modifiers in the next tutorial I want to talk about keyboard events so for example if we have an input field and we start typing into that input field how do we react to those different type of events right and how we can use modifiers on those events as well